In a tiny village in Morocco, 60-year-old Eulene Erkouch says she's suffering. She's one of the thousands who lost her home in the quake that struck the High Atlas Mountains on Friday. Alongside other survivors, she's taking refuge in this local school. Roads are still blocked by landslides after the 6.8 magnitude tremor. And there's a dearth of essential supplies such as tents. We suffered and we're still sad. We have no food, nowhere good to sleep. It's not just about the collapsed houses that we're sad about. A house can be rebuilt later, but I lost my normal life. Thousands were killed in the quake and many more injured. It's Morocco's deadliest since 1960 and most powerful since at least 1900. Morocco's army is leading relief efforts, backed by aid groups and teams sent by four other countries. But the steep, rugged terrain and damaged roads have made the response patchy. Some of the worst hit hamlets are among the last to receive help. Some survivors have voiced frustration at the initially slow pace of the emergency response. Reuters reporters said there was a noticeable increase on Wednesday in the number of troops, police and relief workers near the epicentre. Tent camps were being set up or expanded, field hospitals were busy and helicopters were overhead. At the same time, in some of the more remote locations, there's still little sign of outside help.